test is at the level where the coverings of the test is. The coverings of the test is a Tunica Vaginal is B. Tunica Alvigenia and C. Tunica Vasculosa. Now, coming to the word Tunica Vaginal is. So you have already got here that tunica vaginal is. Tunica vaginal is nothing but it is the extension of extension of that of the you can say peritoneum. Now this peritoneum, you know that you will be going to have a two layer, one is a parietal layer and another is a visceral layer. Now this tunica vaginal is as the descent of the testes occurs in the fetal life, in the fetal life. It will be going to come from the water that of the abdominal portion at the level where that deep inguinal ring is there and then it will be going to pass through and through the inguinal canal and then it escapes through the superficial inguinal ring and then it enters into the water that of the you can say scrotal tissues along with the water that of the spermatic cord as it descends and then it reaches to the upper portion of that of the you can say testes where the lower portion of the spermatic cord will be there and then it will be further covers the that testis substance as well as the what the epididymis when it will be going to surpasses to that particular part, it will be going to one part it will be going to cover the water that of the entire testis and the epididymis while the other will be going to cover the other will be going to cover the scrotum. So this is what is said to be as the what is said to be as a parietal part. Why? The totally it will be going to cover by means of the epididymis, epididymis and the testes and the entire cestus substance and then it will be reflecting back over the water that you can say the entire scrotal tissues that is nothing but the parietal. So this thing is called as what? tunica vaginalis. Why it will be running like this? It will be going to have a two portions. One is said to be as a disease, visceral part of visceral part of tunica vaginalis which is adherent to the epididymis and as well as the water testis substance. Why? The other one which will be there other one which will be layer. Now that is what is said to be as here I had marked with marked with that of the where you can say red. Now that is called as a parietal part of the tunica vaginalis. Parietal part of tunica vaginalis. Vaginalis. So as because it will be running through and through that parietal portion. So that is considered to be as parietal part of the water tunica vaginalis. So you will be having a two. So while this you can say peritoneum it will be descending like this, descending like this, it will be going to have a two portions. That is what is said to be as a right from the deep inguinal ring up till the water superficial inguinal ring and then in the inguinal canal and at the lower part of the spermatic cord and where it will be going to give the clothing over. Now that is called as what is said to be as a process was analysis. Process was analysis. And this process was analysis, which is there, it will be going to run in an oblique pattern up till the water, upper portion of that of the testis and the epididymis as well as the lower part 
of this spermatic cord up till the lower pole there is a remnant will be going to run that is called as obliterated part of the what tunica or a process for analysis so this is what the thing about tunica for analysis another important thing regarding the what that of the tunica was analysis as that peritoneal fold from the what abdominal portion to the what that of the you can say lower part of the scrotum that is the lower pole of the testis when it is descended on the both the side in this scrotal bag fire transiting through through and through the inguinal canal it will be going to at last there will be a small one remnant will be there that remnant becomes as a what a governmental testis governmental macular testis now this gubernaculum testis is a what it is a small remnant which has been left it is the band of a water that of the after the entire descent of the what testis has been occurred into the scrotal bag from the abdominal cavity into the scrotal bag so this is what is said to be as a gubernaculum testis now you will be going to have another covering now that another covering is called as a water tunica albuginea tunica albuginea is nothing but it is a one more layer of the water that of the testis which is a totally a water whitish it will be like a white of an egg now this tunica albuginea very much tightly adhered to the water that of the you can say testis substance itself and as well as very small has passed over the water that of the epididymis but more it is compactly arranged to the water testis organ or the orchid that is the next then you will be going to have the third tunica vasculosa tunica vasculosa is a, what it is a covering only that which covers the vessels of the water that of the testis now that is vessels of the what uh, testicular artery testicular veins and then pampiniform fluxes apart from the pampiniform fluxes lymph vessels so these are called as the tunica vasculosa after having had this now we have to go to the water another important thing about the what testis now this testis you have to identify the sites the identification of the site of the water testis as because testis are two they are hanging one is on the right side and one is on the left side which will be descending from the water that of the you can see deep inguinal ring into the water scrotal bag via the spermatic cord and the water scrotal substance from the abdominal cavity because previously in the i mean to say previously in the sense that is in its embryological phase or the developmental phase or in the fetus these testes are said to be as abdominal organ but as the time goes on it comes into the scrotal bag after the descent now you should know how to determine so for the determination of the site of the testes you should know the most important thing borders poles or the ends and then another important thing regarding the position of the what epididymis now the position of the epididymis as well as the upper pole lower pole and the borders now the anterior border if it is there it should be directing forward and it is convex forward while the posterior is straight it should be back upper pole where that head of the epididymis will be going to cap that should be directing forward sir it is forwards sir means rather upwards forwards and towards laterally while the lower pole will be directing backwards sir downwards and towards medially more than that the position of the epididymis its body should be completely fitted at the posterior border then uh, tail should be what at the lower end and then the head should be capped so over the posterolateral aspect of the upper pole so it will be coming like this that is the position of the what that of the epididymis so after having had this position of the epididymis you will be going to judge 
whether the given test is is of right side and the left side that to after holding the water spermatic cord in a hand and allow to stand still that test is with the spermatic cord when it stands still the position of the water bit is then it will be going to determine the side of the water given test is for the identification so this is what the how to identify the side of the given test is now after having had that test is determination side now you will be going to have the what that of the cut section of the test is cut section of the what test is it can be studied in two way one is about uh, ts and another is a uh, ls so if that ts will be there it should be like this so you have to take a cut from this then you have to study it will be going to come like this way this will be the boundary or the outer line but when you want to study the water test is in a ls so it will be appearing like this this is what the outer covering which will be said to be as a water two definitely one will be having what is said to be as a now this will be the water reflective part and this will be the water visceral part of the water that of the peritoneum this will be the water parietal so you can take it as red if you want then you will be going to have this is the posterior border and the anterior border as usually you will be having here this one and these are the lobules which are present in the substance of the testes or small part what that you will be going to get so these are the lobules of the testes now these lobules of the testes they are the lobules lobules of testes now the lobules of the testes contains lobules of the testes contains convoluted seminiferous tubules convoluted tubules these convoluted tubules which are present in the water lobules of the testes as they run back as they run back they will be going to pierce they will be going to pierce the covering which will be there now this is white is now this white is thing it pierces now this thing entire along with this this will be the substance called as a tunica albuginea albuginea now this tunica albuginea when it will be there in between the in between the two lobules of the testes they are called as the septum or septum of the testes of the testes then here the space between the space between the space between the as that you can say convoluted tubules runs backwards to pierce the tunica albuginea Phase which will be there in between the duct of the what convoluted tubule. They are called as the reti, reti testes, reti testes. Or rather, they are not called as the reti testes. They are called as the media sign of the. Sorry, they are called as the media sign. Media sign. Now these ducts, which 
which are coming from the what convoluted tubules pierce in the tunica albuginea via passing through and through media spanning of the testes they pierce further this test is of sons and then they will be going to lie in lie in the entire back portion of the test is with giving a many bundle of the tubules now these bundles of the tubules they are called as the leafy Now these leaky testes, they will be there into the epididymis, epididymis, epididymis. Now this epididymis, which will be there here with the green, contains all. From these epididymis, from these epididymis, at the tail, at the tail, the ductus deferens runs. Ductus deferens runs. This is the ductus. This is the ductus deferens. Totally, it is the passage for the matured sperm and the sperm to traverse. But before it runs upwards and towards the lateral, in front of the tail of the epididymis, there will be one small duct. Now that duct is called as the front. Now this aberrant duct is uh, when it is excess it can collect and then it can go into the further passage into the spermatic cord. So this is the what is said to be as the your you can say a less of yeah, yes of testis. Yeah,